Hey guys, today I want to talk about expats need to keep in touch with their, their relatives back home. A lot of expats, when they come over here, they just want to cut people off and move on. And, and I get that. I get that with, with some families because, you know, I've, I've had my issues in my family. And most of the people in my family I'm in touch with, and I've, I'm actually um, talking with a few people more now since I've come over here. Um, but all expats sometimes have people that they just want to move on from. And, and I have, I have that. And I'm sure some of you guys do too. Everybody does, or they have people that have cut, just cut them off or whatever. I, I see it with almost all expats over here. They have somebody in their family that they just want to stay away from, or they just want to move on from that situation back home or whatever. But the people that are good to you and your family are people that you probably want to stay in touch with. And I'm going to tell you why I, I have people in my family that I'm very, very close with. And I talk to them as often as I can. Sometimes I wish I could talk a little bit more, but I, I'm, I'm busy over here. This is my new life over here. And a lot of expats just kind of say, you know what, I, I'm going to move on from this. Um, I'm just, I'm over here now. I don't really need to contact these people anymore. I've made my life over here and this is where I live now. So I don't, I don't really need that anymore. And you never know what you're going to need back home, you know, in the future. You, you, it's good to have relatives that you've stayed in touch with or whatever, your sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, cousins, whatever it may be, um, nieces, nephews, you know, try to stay in touch with them as, mu as much as you can. Friends, good friends, old friends, stay in touch with these people because you never know. You might have to go home and check into a nursing home and you don't want to be sitting in a nursing home with nobody ever visiting you or anything. It's, it's going to suck. A lot of guys will say, I'll just die over here. You know, I don't really care. A lot of the guys over here are kind of grumpy old men, I'll say. And we see a lot of that over there. Whenever you mention about dying or getting sick, I don't care. I'll die. I'll I'll die here. I'll. Eh, it doesn't bother me. You know, if I get sick, I'll just stay in the hospital and die. You know, like that's the way some of these people think. You know, it's kind of scary and, and sick that it happens that way. But it is, it is that way. They they just kind of um, I don't know. They just. It, it it is the way it is. I'll say. You know, like they just have that 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 attitude. You know, but a lot of guys over here do realize that you have to do you do have to keep in touch with people back home. God forbid you ever get sick or you got some issues, you start having health issues and you know, health issues catch up with you. And they've caught up with me and, and there may come come a point where I have to go home. You know, um, my health issues are not that great right now. And um, you know, a lot of guys here they they um they they, they think that their health is gonna stay the same forever. They're just going to drop dead and that it's all over. They don't have to worry about their health or anything like that. Trust me, a lot of guys have have to go home from here sometimes because life catches up with you. Your health catches up with you. Your lifestyle catches up with you. Your drinking catches up with you. Whatever it may be, it's going to catch up with you sooner or later. You're going to get sick maybe because you're... Your, your, your age, you're aging out or what have you. You know, you're, you're just getting older. You're, you're, you're starting to get dementia. You're starting to get Alzheimer's. You're starting to get Parkinson's. You're starting to get this. You need family to fall back on back home. You don't want to show up at some nursing home back home or a soldier's home or, or wherever it may be. You know, there's, there's, there's tons of soldier's homes back in the States that you can, you can always go back to. And, and if you're in the military, there's places that you can go back there, but it's great to have family come in and check on you and visit on you, you know, and say, hey, how you doing, buddy? Can I get you something? You need me to buy you something? You want me to take you somewhere? You want me to take you out to dinner or something today? You know, in the nursing homes, you know, you're not going to get a lot of people visiting you, you there. A lot of nursing homes, they don't really pay attention to the people in there. They're just worried about collecting a paycheck. You know, so that's why you need family. Yeah, you're going to make friends in there, but most of the people in, in nursing homes are really sick and it's hard to have conversations with some of these people because they're in there. They might put you on an Alzheimer's unit or you might have a roommate that has Alzheimer's or something like that. It's, you know, you never know. And, and it, that's why I say keep your friends, keep your relatives, keep those that linkage back home. You know, also I want to talk a little bit about this that, um, and Justin was talking about this, earlier that a lot of people in the u.s don't understand the dynamics over here and kind of throw you under the bus as as a sex pad and some guys over here are sex pads let's face it that just goes with the territory but a lot of people will consider you like a sex pad or something like that if you date people way younger than you because they don't realize the dynamics over here i mean there's filipinos over here that date 
women in their 20s when they're in their 50s and 60s you know and it's it's pretty much accepted if you're healthy you know it's it's not something that's frowned upon or looked down upon over here but in the states it is over here it's different but you know back in the states your relatives might look at you and say you know i don't i don't know if i want to hang this guy's kind of icky you know he's in his 60s 70s 80s maybe 50s and he's dating somebody that's 21 27 29 or something like that or 32 35 you know they, they even at that age they, they look at it like it's abnormal and over here a lot of guys think of somebody that's 35 is too old i mean for me i usually stick pretty close to my age that's just me that's the way i am you know I, it feels kind of, i just don't want to deal with um people that are immature or you know some of the, a lot of the women over here that are younger are very difficult you know they're, they're difficult in their 20s and even in their 30s it can be very very difficult and for me i, I just don't want to deal with that age gap you know there is a huge age gap but you know also you have to think that you, if you tell your 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 family anybody in your family that hey my girlfriend's 32 and you're 70 or 65 or 60 they're gonna look at you kind of strange or if you're with a girl that's 25 or 24 or 21 they're gonna look at you a little bit strange and and you know people might not want to talk to you anymore and I tell people be careful with your private information here you know, because it's, it's private, you know, you know, everybody doesn't need to know everything about you here. They don't need to know everything about you. In fact, too much information out there about you, about you tends to hurt you. Even though you didn't do anything wrong, you're just living your life in the Philippines. It's not a good idea to share too much information. I've learned that since living over here, other people around me have learned that living over here. You just don't want to share too much information with people over here. And that goes even telling people back home in your family sometimes, you know, because like I said about the age gaps, you might just want to keep that to yourself. You know, um, nobody needs to know all your business. Nobody, you don't have to tell everybody your business sometimes, you know, just keep it to yourself. Um, you know, you, sh you share what you have to share. Um, I do share some information with, with people that are close with me and my family and stuff like that and with friends and stuff like that. But I try not to give too much information out there. And it's kind of tough being a vlogger because... You're trying to teach people lessons and stuff like that. And you're trying to teach things, people things that you've learned over here from your own experiences. And, I, you know, and I try to share you with you guys my experiences. And that's why sometimes things change and things do change with vloggers. You know, we learn we learn from our experience living over here. And sometimes it's a long, hard lesson and sometimes it's a short lesson. And that's why, you know, a lot of vloggers will change up things later on and say, you know, I, I used to think this way, but this is the way I'm thinking now. And as people live over here and they progress in age, I think you're gonna see a lot of progression in the way that they change and think about things. And a lot of people slam vloggers over here for changing or saying, well, you said this here back then. They have that mentality of like, oh man, I'm gonna nail this guy. I'm gonna say this. He said this like, like you know, four years ago or three years ago or two years ago, whatever. You know, people, people change, things change, people move on. And we have expats over here that love love to attack people they love to attack people just because it's the way they are you know and um you know that's that's part of expat life over here but anyway guys to get back on subject be, be careful with your family back home stay friendly if you can it counts you might need that help later on god bless guys take care i hope you enjoyed today's show